cat interviews at uber confluent indeed and many many more companies i have seen it all after countless hours on the other side of the table i know exactly what top companies are looking for especially in nld in this course i'll share the insider blueprints what to focus on especially key design patterns how much multi threading very important counter question traps and how to tackle them confidently this course is structured practical and tailored on what companies are looking for right now let's get you into ready right now now next in the list is builder design pattern so builder design pattern is primarily one of the creational design pattern which is used for complex object which means that you know any specific class which has many 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 attributes or it can have many optional field as well now again based on different configurations one object needs let's say four attributes other needs five attributes other needs 10 attributes again because you know there are different optional attributes so to easily and clearly make objects we use builder design pattern now you might ask aryan why let's see because see to create an object traditionally we have constructors which helps us to create an object this is what we saw also when we were discussing our oops and in that oops we literally discussed about constructors in very deep now obviously for complex objects we have to make literally many constructors we will see the example as well but constructors are primarily used again this is for the recap for the folks who don't know what constructors are constructors are primarily used which you know they ensure objects are created in a valid state the moment an object is created it will have something initialized and that will be some valid state which i need so what i know the constructor will be used to initialize an object and also guaranteed that all the properties which are required are set so in a general case a constructor will simply look like look like this a constructor having you know some attributes and i will just simply initialize those attributes now you might say are what's the issue in this isn't it okay although you were referring that if you have many attributes if you have many attributes i can see they are literally many attributes but i don't see any issue with this are you sure you don't see any issue with this i see it because you will see that even if i don't need sunroof and navigation which means i don't need to define it but still i will have to keep it now you might say are i can give some default values right uh, not always right so for example you don't need to give some default values but you want it okay let's say i have some other things which i don't want to initialize so if i don't give these then i will still need to have a constructor which accepts these four arguments so i need to make a constructor which has these four arguments and discards sunroof and navigation system so do you see duplication of code will happen technically you might say are it's not a duplication right you are making different code altogether yes but still majority part of the code remains same and you will end up duplicating that a, a lot of times which means that the biggest drawback of constructor is you will have to have to pass those values for all the parameters whatever are there in that constructor if you don't pass it you will have to find another constructor now you might say are there is kind of this thing that you can ignore the last uh, you know last parameters obviously okay what if i ask you that you want to ignore this thing then what you will do you cannot ignore anything in the middle right so obviously there are multiple cases where you would want to ignore some of the attributes while have to take other attributes but still you are bound to make a constructor for the same it means you have to pass it that's the issue so and this is only when we saw just having six attributes what if you have number of you know huge combinations which means that as i told you that you want to ignore this and take only three what if you want to ignore this only take these three what if you want to ignore this also take these two so you see there are multiple combinations if i have six parameters obviously i will have two is power six number of different combinations of constructor which i will have to make just to cater all the possible request of constructor which i can actually get and this can become cumbersome at one point because again as you can see 64 constructors which you will make you it looks something like this constructor another 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 and so on and so forth you will make 64 constructors this that's literally enormous and just imagine adding just one more attribute just one more attribute you will end up having 64 more constructors which you will have to make and again the biggest thing is that if you will write 128 constructors in a file <laughs> what will happen to the readability it will simply go away like you are saying that you will have a class which will have 
literally 400 lines of code just because of constructors <laughs> you are out of your mind and again at a glance like the biggest issue is at a glance you will also not be able to figure out okay what this actually is is it true false uh what it is now you might say are in ide this you know ide nowadays gives you that highlighting portion and with that i will be able to figure out but i'm more asking in terms of you know if there's a long list of attributes and you give it as a code review you know you you raise a pr to it then someone is reviewing your code you have a long list of attributes you never know what you passed he never know what you passed so what and how will he verify that you are passing the correct attribute at the correct locations because obviously what if all of them are strings and you literally pass everything same then there's also an issue of you know mismatching of things so what is the solution for this obviously they are multiple questions which means the interviewer can ask how will you add another optional attribute you know another parameter how will, how will you add so just to make things more flexible and especially when we are dealing with large objects when it's large i mean having large number of parameters then we use builder design pattern again i refer this is very 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 highly used in the industry like literally every where you will go the code are being initialized or created with the help of builder design pattern only like literally if you are a sd1 or above you will see that in your org or in any village anywhere you are working you will be using builder design pattern for sure no doubt now it says that you have to build step by step what it means is you will have a builder you will keep on assembling objects you know just adding it keep on adding it now we will see the code and how we can add it again let's start so firstly we have a simple class car class then we will have a very basic constructor but there is a slight catch in this constructor we'll come on to we'll come on to this constructor later on but we will have a constructor but this is only one constructor that's it and again we have some getter methods but you will see there are no setter methods why because setting of attributes will be done by car builder so this is your builder design pattern this is your car builder so you see this blue box this is your builder class what it says is you make a builder class right again i have kept it static so that you can create this directly from the class itself you know your car class so it is inside this builder is inside your car class that's a catch cool now let's see what this builder says this is exactly same as what you could have done when you had a simple class simple car class you have all these attributes and you see i have given their default values as well now comes the very fun part you will have these methods of setters you will say set color set sunroof set navigation system set engine and so on and so forth although right now here in this i have written set but you will see in many production code bases you don't use the word set use engine only use wheels only again here i have written set itself set engine but in many code bases you will see you will use only engine that's kind of you know uh, how people like to have it but the essence is that what this will do this will say that anything will accept you know engine what engine i want to set obviously i have an argument what engine i have to set but this is being set so this represents if you remember our oops class if you remember we discussed about this keyword in very deep so this says that builders engine this car builders engine i am setting to engine then say here car builders wheel i am putting up as wheel car builders seat i am putting up a seat so basically all these methods are setting up values of this car builder so these values which, which are default right now if i will call if i will call these methods all these values will be set that is the main thing about your builder design pattern now ultimately all these methods are same right lastly you will have a build method which you will see is returning the actual object how you will simply call a new car and then pass in this what is this this is the builder so this is again car is the current constructor the car car class you will have you are passing in the build object now we go back up and we will see the car class has is accepting a builder and that is the reason i was passing in this here because this will say that 
बिकॉज आई एम इन अ कार बिल्डर क्लास आई एम पासिंग माई करंट ऑब्जेक्ट टू कार एंड वेन आई गो अप इन माई कार्स कंस्ट्रक्टर आई विल बी गेटिंग अ बिल्डर नाउ बिल्डर विल हैव थिंग्स नाउ बिल्डर विल हैव थिंग्स बेस्ड ऑन वट एवर आई कॉल्ड सो इफ आई कॉल्ड इंजन इफ आई कॉल्ड सीट्स If I call sunroof, then builder will have modified engine, modified seats, modified sunroof, and wheels, and color, and navigation system will be default one. Will be the default one which we have right now here. So what will happen? The builder will have either the default values or the values which I have set. Ultimately, mixture of default values or the values which I have set. Now I can just simply assign all the attributes from the builder to my car object. and ultimately with that i will have my car object now that is the reason i have made this private private will say that no one outside will be able to call this only and only this car builder because it is inside the same class if you don't know we discussed in the oop lecture as well about these access modifiers how they work so we realize that only this current car class can access you know inside this car class we have this car builder because it is inside the same class that is the reason it can easily access by new which means no one from outside will be able to call this constructor rather everyone will be calling via this car builder now how people will call this let's see so people will simply call car dot car builder as you can see because it was static i can simply call this directly with the class when i have builder in place then i can simply start calling set engine set wheels and so on and so forth so let's say i called set engine on my builder i passed in the engine name now what this will return this will return me as you can see this returns me this this returns me builder itself so this thing returned me builder from builder i am again calling set color so from builder i am again calling a set color where is color gone yeah set color so it will set the color with the argument color it will set the color with the argument color what this will what this will return now this will again return a builder now with the builder i am again calling a set seat 5 so i will set seat 5 now again this will return the builder okay again the builder then again call the from builder call the set sunroof again i will do that call the set sunroof again i will get the builder ultimately i call the build so for the builder i will call the build function that build will return me what now this time it is returning me cars object but obviously it will pass in the current this which means whatever builder i have made so far whatever builder i have made so far that is being passed here again if you don't understand all this please make sure that you understand and go and watch this keyword everything will be clear to you coming on back we will simply you know this builder will be passed simply here and then i will be making a simple object of my car with what all attributes were set while it was doing this setting and with that you will have a new constructor for your car and did you see that how clean this is now you might ask arin isn't it a very big code and uh, uh, isn't it very you know that for everything you have a different uh, headers for it yes it might seem like a big code and you might say that oh it's actually uh, you know issue no it is not because imagine that now i have only have to set these things engine color and seats so you see i don't need any other code i can simply call the same piece of code i can call the same piece of code and with that i will get my answer with that and again this can be sense extensible for any number of attributes which i have any number of attributes and i can chain this i can simply chain this this is called as chaining and this is very 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 important again you will see this in you know used in streams uh, if you know java streams so that is used in streams as well this is very important thing and again you can easily add any number of attributes any new attributes and simply integrate that here the other benefit part or the other best part about it is that you have a good name given to it so you will never do a mistake you have a color seat sunroof so you have a proper name given to it so you will never do a mistake which you might end up doing if you have a constructor where things are never known okay what is this parameter this one this one this one because it is again especially when the number parameters are very large let's say if they are 20 or 30 then obviously it will be very 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 complex to understand this 
that is the reason you should go and try for builder design pattern cool again uh, this is exactly what the builder design pattern is now lastly some real life use cases obviously mm -hmm. as we saw that building some very complex meals again anything which is complex right which can require different you know uh, different uh, ingredients different things different recipes obviously i can use my builder design pattern obviously making some complex documents uh, simple profile creation because profile creation actually is different for different people some people keep only name some people keep name as well email as well people have their preferences as well right this question is actually very common uh, let's say if you want to do a whatsapp design now in whatsapp design you will have profile now profile many people have their different preferences to set these preferences you it is much better because these preferences are very large in number and can be different for different people so it is good that i create a profile with these preferences based on my builder design pattern again another one can be your e-commerce website where you have different products having different complexities of it again one product can have different attributes to it another one can have different attributes to it so on and so forth so you never know that you can never say okay every product will follow the same set of attributes and i don't want everyone to pass every every value i only want them to pass the value which they have and rest all i can put them as default and that is the beauty of your building design pattern cool uh, lastly we will simply see that uh, you know uh, the conclusion for it which is building design pattern is flexible clear and maintainable piece of code and the constructor obviously can be very messy and unmanageable with a lot of parameters especially when you have literally not a lot of parameters so the biggest points about this builder design pattern is that you can create the object step by step you can set the attributes you care about only the ones which you care about you can provide the default values also you know as we saw in the above code itself and also it is easy to extend with any number of attributes in future the client code is very clean very concise and also it is easy to understand that's the biggest point of your built design pattern cool i hope you got it let's complete the like target of 250 likes hands in the next one goodbye take care